Hello, hello, and welcome to Adam with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Echo Show. Yes, people, I actually got my hands on the Echo Show 10, the one where the screen moves all the way around. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So at the top, you have the Echo Show 10 right chair. There's an image of what's to come in the box. This box is much heavier than I would have thought. All right, let's get into this box, people. So like all their boxes, it's an easy pull. All right, so the first thing you see tucked away in here is the Hello Echo Show 10. So this is the information you're gonna need to get this thing set up and going. Oh, very cool. I like how the box opens up and it has the power cable. And this is their standard proprietary charging cable. I love how they put the wattage right there, 30 watts. All right, here we go. Whoa, this thing just literally spins around. Pull the cloth off and reveal. Woo, look at that 10.5 inch display. But mainly look at those bezels right there. Those are quite large. Uh, and the, the forehead is actually thicker than the uh, chin down here. So that is very interesting. Uh, the top is actually thicker, probably because it has the um, front facing camera right there. Walk around this thing real quick. So that is the power port right there. That's where you're gonna plug your power cable into. You got some super grip down here because they know that if you're putting this on a kitchen counter, it's gonna get uh, covered in flour and other stuff as you bake and cook. So you're gonna need something to really grip at the bottom right here. And then this is made out of that standard Echo Show mesh right here that we've come to know. Of course, you have your giant display right there. All right, let's go ahead and walk around to the top. So it looks like you have the ability to shut off. There you go. If you don't want anyone peeping on you, you got your little protective shade right there. Very cool, very straightforward. You got your volume up, your volume down, and then your kill switch right there. So this thing completely articulates all the way up and then all the way back down. I am so hyped uh, to get this into my kitchen and get the review a going, people. Woo! All right, let's jump into the settings real quick so you can actually see it's in some kind of weird um, eye saving mode. Let's go into the settings. Everything is like orange. We'll go to display. And there you go, sunrise effect. You're gonna wanna turn that off. You actually need to uh, adjust it for your sunrise. So that's from four to 9 a.m. I'm not sure, 4 p.m. to 9 a.m.? Not sure what that is. Um, and then go ahead and turn this off. And now your screen's gonna look like a normal screen. You definitely wanna keep uh, your, your brightness on, for sure, your adaptive brightness. Okay, let's talk about the motion tracking. So the motion tracking is actually really cool. It does have some bugs and it doesn't work perfect all the time. But when you are watching a, a movie or you're doing something where you're asking the device a question, it will follow you around the room. So right now I have my phone just below my face and it's still able to track that I'm over here and now I'm moving over this way. I'm gonna go really quickly. So there you go, it does do a really good job, but when it glitches, it glitches in a way where your device will be like all the way over here, and then you'll move out of the way. Okay, so it's really tracking me this time. Okay, so that's cool, um, really nice. So it definitely does a good job of tracking the face. I think it's gotten a few updates since I plugged it in, which is really cool. So the face tracking is actually quite amazing. Now, here we go. Let's go ahead and try and walk away. So I'm going to get further away. And now I'm going to go this way. Oh, it still got me. Wow. I've never been that far away, I don't think. Okay, so they definitely updated this because when I first plugged it in, it was not this good. Um, but there you go. So that is the motion tracking. You could turn it off super, super easily. Just press that button right there and boom, now it's not gonna track your face anymore. And then you drop this down, turn it back on. And there you go, it's tracking once again. Okay, this is one feature that is really cool that my other Echo did not have. 
Alexa, show me driveway cam. Okay. Okay, so I'm in my wise cam and now if I go up here and I go home, boom, picture in picture, P-I-P -P, people, that is so awesome. You can just quickly exit out of that. Okay, so this is all being recorded on the front facing camera of this Echo. The image quality is actually really decent, but it does something really fun when you start to walk away. It is actually panning and zooming to keep you in the frame. It's not putting me exactly right because I should, my head should be more toward the middle, but it's trying to frame me in a very interesting kind of cinematic way and it's doing a phenomenal job. I have to give it mass credit. And there's not a lot of light coming from this direction, so it's actually getting my face lit up. It's doing a phenomenal job of lighting up my face for me, um, which is really, really cool. So that is big thumbs up. Let's talk about how much countertop real estate this thing actually takes up, and it really takes up a lot. So right now, with it fully laying back like this right here, it's gonna take up nine inches from the back all the way to right here. So that's a lot of your countertop that this thing is gonna take up nine inches. Now, if you push it all the way back down, which I don't know how many people are gonna do that, from the back to right here is seven and a half inches. So. Another thing is that you're you're getting a lot of um, countertop that's taken up by a very thin display and then a very chunky uh, box back here. So aesthetically, it kind of looks a little bit funny. The cords are out back right here. They're not hidden. And yeah, so it definitely takes up a lot more countertop real estate than I would have thought going into it. And that's something that I really want to push home so that everyone understands what they're buying when they're buying this thing. I wish the screen would sit further back. I wish it was sitting more up here and I wish this maybe wasn't a circle and maybe um, some kind of rectangle and this would be tucked back further. That would look so much better. We're going to do the microphone test, some very simple commands. I'm going to have my vent fan over my range over there. I'm gonna have that on high, so that's gonna be extremely loud. Alexa, current temperature. Right now, it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, current wind speed. Currently, it's breezy at 4.6 miles per hour. Today, expect more of the same. Alexa, current temperature? Right now, it's 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, current wind speed? Alexa, current wind speed? Alexa, current wind speed? Currently, it's freezing at 4.6 miles per hour. Today, expect more of the same. Okay, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but my other echoes in the background were actually picking up where this one was not picking up. Now I'm gonna turn the sink on full blast with water and see how it works. Alexa, current humidity. Currently, the humidity is 43%. Alexa, what's the air quality? According to airnow.gov, the air quality in Indianapolis is moderate with an air quality index of 53. If you are unusually sensitive to air quality, you might want to reduce prolonged or heavy exertion outside. Are you also interested in today's air quality information? Yes. Alexa, when will it rain? Alexa, when will it rain? Alexa, when will it rain? Rain is 
0.14 inches. Okay, there you go. You can see that it does struggle when there's background noise. It's not perfect. I truly believe that my old Echo was actually picking up my voice a lot better than this. It had, uh, I think it had four microphones on the top. This one only has two on the top. So um, yeah, definitely take note of that. The microphones on this need to be updated, upgraded, and pushed up to get a little bit more sensitivity and to be able to deal with the background noise a little bit better. But I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five stars. Okay, for this portion, we're gonna be doing the audio test of the speakers. I'm gonna just play one of my own videos and you'll just get a good understanding of the bass and sound quality. So let's do that right quick. This weird shape-shifting device is quickly becoming the most popular Father's Day gift of 2022. It replaces up to 90... Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home the Business. Today we're going to be talking about the JLab Go Air. Hello, hello, and welcome. About this thing has a web browser, but it's kind of tucked away. You have to say, Alexa, open silk. Here is silk. And then once you get into it, it's a very simple, straightforward web browser, but it does have one really cool button right here that you can press, which will toggle between desktop mode and regular mode. So we can just switch it. Now it's disabling desktop mode. This is how it looks on your normal web browser. Click it again, and now it's gonna go into more of like a tablet mode. More user-friendly for this device. And then it has the presets right here, sort of bookmarks, so you can jump into YouTube. So these devices don't natively have a YouTube app, but this is actually the closest thing I've found to a YouTube app on this device right here. And as you can see, this is the desktop mode. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to the tablet mode, which really brings it into something very similar to a YouTube app. So that is really, really cool. I like that a lot. So it's tucked away. You have to ask for it. It's Amazon Silk, but it is there and you can use it and it does a decent job. Okay, so I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review and let's just start off with the display. So the display is actually really, really crispy. When you get a good quality video playing on here, you really notice it right away. It's got really good blacks, colors, and it's very, very vibrant and bright. So that is really cool. The display is absolutely amazing. Definitely the best Echo display I've ever used. Uh, 1080p for sure, 100% HD for sure. So that's really cool. Let's talk about the sound quality coming out of this bad boy back here. Absolutely amazing. This packs some cinematic sounds. It's really unreal. It's, it's not until you actually start to listen to music or watch a movie or a TV show on here that you're like, whoa, this is next level echo right here. This is not the standard echo. You get a little bit of sound coming out the top here. You get a lot of sound shooting out um, around this area here. And then you get this massive amount of bass as you heard when I showed the audio test. So truly five out of five stars 
for this bad boy back here, it packs a serious punch. So really what you're getting is, you're getting phenomenal sound quality and the best echo display on the market. I'm gonna give this a solid 4.6 star rating. I'm gonna say it's almost my favorite echo on the market. Definitely buy this if everything I said sounds like it's a perfect match for you. You're gonna love it. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal display, phenomenal sound, absolutely amazing. Definitely worth your money if you know what you're buying. Buy it. All right, there you go. That's the Echo Show 10. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click it and clack that like button. If you wanna join the Adam Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 5K. Yes, people, on my way to 6K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.